Okay, you can start now. Introduce yourself. Okay, my name is Michaela Luna. I came to the United States when I was 13. And I was here for middle school, high school, and now college. But, um, I was scared to speak English. Even now, I'm I'm scared because I don't say words in a, like, the, the, la pronunciación, you know? (laughs) It's, like, not okay. So, I'm shy all the time. Because people, I feel like people still make fun of me. Like, when I was in middle school, when I first came, um, only my cousin knew how to speak English, and she was the only person I knew from school. So even though I was in a higher grade, she was the one helping me. But then I was scared when that she she wasn't on my same, the same classroom that I was, so everybody bullied me, and... They told me, they, they, they make fun of me because I used to say, like, I, I didn't know how to speak English, so they called me names. I, I didn't know how to do homework. And one time, the first day I came to school, it was lunchtime, and I was looking for my cousin because we used to sit all together, all grades, and I started crying because some girls started making fun of me. Okay, so it was the first day and I was looking for my cousin to sit with her because I didn't know anybody else. And then I needed to say excuse me so that I could go all the way to where she was. But then these Russian ladies, they were like the mean girls from school. And they started laughing at me and asking me, what do you want? What do you want? And I didn't know what to say. And I I was so nervous. And they were saying me, they were telling me funny things, and I didn't understand, but everybody was laughing. And the teacher didn't even say anything to them. They were just looking at me, and because I think they didn't know what they were, that they were being mean to me. And then when I saw my cousin, I went to her and I told her, and then she was going to start a fight with them. But then I started crying, and she felt bad. And then everybody was like looking at me in a weird way, and then after that, the next day they were they they were calling me a crybaby. Then, for for like homework and stuff, I didn't know how to do it. The teachers didn't have any patience with me because they said everybody was the same and they couldn't have a special treatment with me. But then when I then I moved to another school because. I didn't feel well there, and I found the ESL program. That's the one that helped me because all the teachers knew the the language that the students needed. And me, for example, I needed Spanish. So they were nice to me, and they helped me understand homework better. My grades went up. My teachers were nicer. Uh, I found better friends, the ones that helped me with my English. They would ask me to say, like, little things in English. The first thing I I remember I learned to say was to the teacher, may I go to the bathroom? And I was so happy because when I said it to my teacher, she was, she she like, she said, congratulations, Michaela, you, you're moving forward. So I felt so happy and I was more, um, I don't know how to say it, just happy. Um, and then I graduated, um, with good grades, and then I went to high school, I went to Lincoln High School, I met more people, but it was even more scary because they were older people there, and they were even more mean than in middle school, and they were less teachers to look after to because they would treat you like an adult. And yes, I was a young adult, 
but I was still feeling scared and I was shy to ask for help because they were telling me, oh, you're old enough to defend yourself. And I was shy. I don't know. And then in high school, I was used to using my phone in middle school to translate a few things that I didn't know how to say in English. But then in high school, I couldn't use my phone. I was supposed to give it to the dean and they would take it all day and then give it to me after school. Um, so I was even more scared because I, to, do, to do good in class, I was supposed to participate. It was one of the main things in class to get a good grade and I couldn't do it. I knew, even though I knew the answers, I didn't know how to communicate myself, how to raise my hand and how to ask for the teacher to give me a chance. And then when I tried, I, di I didn't say it right, so not even the teacher would understand and all the classmates would laugh at me. So only once I did it, and I never wanted to do it again because I was scared. Um, then for homework, they're, they're, they, they were using bigger words that I didn't understand. And they gave me a counselor that didn't speak my language. So it wasn't very helpful either. Um, so I needed, I, I always went to my cousin so that she could help me with homework and she could, you know, talk to my teachers so that they could help me. And then until my next year. So for homework, I used to ask my cousin for help and then she would help me. But then she, she told me that I should be more brave and ask my friends or my classmates so that way also I could make friends um but then all my I thought all my friends from middle school were gonna be in the same class as me but they didn't so I needed so I had to make new friends in my class but nobody would want to talk to me because they didn't know why what I was saying because not even I knew what I was saying and then um they would try sometimes to help me with school, but then they, they would get like frustrated because they didn't think that I was understanding. I felt really stupid because they were treating me like if I needed special treats. Um, they were, you know, being sometimes too nice that made me feel like, what the hell, you know, like stupid. And then that made me feel like, I don't know, my 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 self-esteem was low. Um, I, I wouldn't want to talk to nobody. I was always alone. When people tried to talk to me, I would always avoid them. I was always with my headphones, listening to music. Um, um, then... I don't know what to say, though. <laughs> um... Now that I'm in college, uh, I feel like people are more mature and my classmates and my teachers are giving me extra help. The friends I have are way better, more understandable. They speak English and my own native language, which is Spanish, but they're always helping me when I made a, make a mistake. They don't tell me. And when I make a mistake, they don't make fun of me. They just tell me, you know, this is right, this is wrong. And now that I've been opening more, I see people that are, that are on my shoes when I was in middle school or in high school, but they're in college, which is even harder, I believe. So I try to help them as much as I can, even though my English is still not good at all, but I can help them and I can or I can try to help them at least um, and I feel like knowing that now that if my if English was my first language then I'd, I'd be in a better place maybe or maybe not because I wouldn't be as humble as I am right now with the people that don't speak the language and that are feeling attacked by other people telling them that they're in America so they should speak English but that's not okay they should speak their language 
freely. And why not America should have places that speak their language, you know? More, because America is not only, only for English people. So, yeah, I feel more open. I have more friends, good friends. Yes, I had bad experiences, but I feel like it helped me to grow up to kick myself and always try to do my best. I always graduated with good grades. Right now, I have excellent grades. And my teachers are always telling me that I could do way better, way better, way better. And that's all I'm trying to do. That's all I'm going to do. And I'm trying to become, uh, you know, some... Now that I'm in college, I feel like um, all these experiences gave me um, the idea that I should become uh, a teacher, an ESL teacher. And I want to help all, all the kids that are, that are coming to America and they don't speak English um, to help them, to make them feel that they're not alone, that it's okay not to speak the language because you're eventually going to learn. It takes time, of course, and it's not going to be perfect, but you're not alone and they're always going to have somebody to count on. Not like I did, but that's why I'm doing my best to become someone they can trust and someone they can look after for help to give them a better better experience you know and then yeah I mean everything happens for a reason